Good morning, St. Andrews. We're coming to you to remind you of tomorrow's worship on the website. That is indeed Palm Sunday. It is not the Palm Sunday that we anticipated several weeks ago, but it's the Palm Sunday where still we gather as the church. I want to read a portion of John the 11th, the unusual scripture that I was led to read and to use for tomorrow's meditation. Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. Mary was the one who anointed the Lord with perfume and wiped his feet with her hair. Her brother Lazarus was ill. So the sisters sent a message to Jesus. Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness does not lead to death. Rather, it is for God's glory, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Jesus loved Mar Martha and her sister and Lazarus. After Herbie heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. When Martha heard that Jesus finally was coming, she went and met him, while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection of the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. When she heard it, she got up quickly and went to him. When Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was disturbed. He said, Where have you laid him? Lord, come and see, they said. Jesus began to weep. Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So he took away the stone and said to his father, I thank you for having heard me. When he said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloths, and he wrapped his, fa his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to him, Unbind him and let him go. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. A prayer said and written long ago by Father Thomas Merton, a Trappist monk in Geth at Gethsemane Monastery in Kentucky, prayed this prayer. My Lord God, I have no idea where I am going. I do not see the road ahead of me. I cannot know for certain where it will end. Nor do I really know myself. And the fact that I think I am following your, your will does not mean I am actually doing so. But I believe that the desire to please you does in fact please you. And I hope that desire I have in all that I am doing. I hope that I will never do anything apart from that desire. And I know that if I do this, you will lead me by the right road, that I may know nothing about it. Therefore, I will trust you always. Though I may seem to be lost and in the shadow of death, I will not fear. For you are ever with me, and you will never leave me to face my perils alone. Amen and amen. Go oh, in peace.